Section 16 of 1001 Questions and Answers on English Grammar. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information, or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Christy Carpenter. 1001 Questions and Answers on English Grammar by Benjamin Hathaway. Nouns. 1. In how many different relations may nouns stand in a sentence? 7. 2. Name them. 1. A subject of finite verb. 2. To explain the meaning of some other noun apposition. 3. To limit another noun by denoting possession. 4. As the object of a transitive verb or participle. 5. As the object of a preposition. 6. Put after a verb or participle, not transitive, and meaning the same thing as the noun or pronoun preceding, therefore in same case. 7. Independent of all syntactical relation to other words of the sentence. 3. When is a noun or pronoun in the nominative case? when it is the subject or predicate of a sentence or clause. 4. What is the construction of hermit in the following? Peter, the hermit, preached the first crusade. It is used to explain the meaning of the subject, Peter, therefore holds the same relation in the sentence and is in the nominative case by apposition. 5. Give the rule for the nominative case subject of a finite verb. A noun or pronoun, the subject of a finite verb, must be in the nominative case, as virtue rewards her followers. 6. What may be used as subjects? A word, phrase, or clause. 7. Where is the subject nominative usually placed with reference to the verb? It is usually placed before it. 8. Name the exceptions. In the following cases, the subject is placed after the verb or after the first auxiliary. 1. When a question is asked without an interrogative pronoun in the nominative case as, does death end all? 2. When the verb is in the imperative mode, as, depart thou. 3. When a wish or emotion is expressed, as, may you live long. 4. When a supposition is made without a conjunction, as, had I known your disposition, I need not have made you angry. 5. When there here, then, neither, or nor precedes the verb, as, there is an old house, ye shall not eat it, neither shall ye touch it. Here am I. 6. After say, think, reply, and the like, as, thus saith the Lord. 9. Correct the false syntax in the following. 1. Incorrect. Them are fine peaches. Correct. Those are fine peaches. 2. Incorrect. Him and me study grammar. Correct. He and I study grammar. 3. Incorrect. He is older than me. Correct. He is older than I. 4. Incorrect. She is not as wise as him. Correct. She is not as wise as he. 5. Incorrect. Them that seek wisdom will be wise. Correct. They that seek wisdom will be wise. 10. Give the rule for the nominative case in the predicate. A noun or pronoun in the predicate 
after an intransitive or passive verb must be in the same case as the subject, when both words refer to the same person or thing, as death is the king of terrors. Jupiter was styled the thunderer. 11. Does the predicate noun always follow and the subject nominative always precede the verb? They generally do, but sometimes the order is changed. 1. In questions asked by interrogatives, the predicate comes first, as, who is he? 2. In some sentences, they come together either before or after the verb, as, I know not who she is. Am I a traitor? 12. The predicate noun is in what person? It is usually in the third person, without regard to the person of the subject of the verb, as, he is a king, you are a scholar. 13. What may be used as predicate nouns? Any word, infinitive, participle, phrase, or sentence. As, order is heaven's first law. To excel is to succeed. Seeing is believing. Honesty is the best policy. Franklin's maxim was, God helps them that help themselves. 14. Give illustrations of nouns used in the predicate with noun subjects. 1. Man became a living soul. 2. Paul lived a Pharisee. 3. Havoc, spoil, and ruin are my gain. 4. Men may live fools, but fools they cannot die. 5. Louis was styled the father of his people. 6. Hope is the anchor of the soul. 15. Give illustrations of nouns in the predicate with pronoun subjects. 1. She will become a better actress than her sister. 2. She stood the embodiment of dignity. 3. Thou wast born a king. 4. I was considered a typical American. 5. He was called Moses. 6. I am tired of being an idler. An awkward construction but to be met occasionally. 16. Correct the following errors. 1. Incorrect. Who is there? It is me. Correct. Who is there? It is I. 2. Incorrect. It cannot be them. Correct. It cannot be they. 3. Incorrect. Art thou yet proud? I, that I am, not thee. Correct. Art thou yet proud? I, that I am, not thou. 4. Incorrect. Whom do men say that I am? Correct. Who do men say that I am? 5. Incorrect. Who do you think me to be? Correct. Whom do you think me to be? 17. What is the case of nouns in the predicate with the infinitive to be? They may be in the predicate after infinitives, but may then be in the objective case as well as the nominative, as they believe it to be him. Anna is said to be a good girl. 18. How is it that this occurs? The noun or pronoun after the infinitive to be always means the same as some preceding noun or pronoun, 
as it really occupies the position of predicate noun and an abridged clause, it is said to be in the same case. 19. Give the rule for the nominative case in apposition. A noun or personal pronoun used to explain another noun or pronoun denoting the same person or thing is put in apposition in the same case, as John the Baptist was beheaded, I, Moses, saw the holy city. 20. Does the explanatory term follow or precede the principal term? The rule supposes the term in apposition to follow, as Jerusalem, the Jewish capital, was destroyed. 21. Give five sentences in which a noun is in apposition with a noun. 1. The Tippecanoe, a river in Indiana, is rendered famous by a battle between the Americans and Indians. 2. Herschel, the astronomer, discovered the planet Uranus. 3. The Franks, a people of Germany, invaded Gaul in the 5th century. 4. Henry, King of England, was the father of Elizabeth, the Queen. 5. Byron, the poet, died in Greece. 22. Give five sentences in which a noun is in apposition with a pronoun. 1. I, John, have always been your friend. 2. Thou, fool, this night thy soul shall be required of thee. 3. We, the subscribers, promise to pay the sums attached to our several names. 4. He, a professed Catholic, imprisoned the Pope. 5. He, Paul, lived in the first century. 23. Give illustration of a pronoun in apposition with a noun. 1. The party, themselves, can adjust the difficulty. 2. They killed him, him who so loved them. 3. The chief is here, he who was at the fort yesterday. 24. Give five sentences in which a pronoun is in apposition with a pronoun. 1. I myself did it. 2. He did it himself. 3. Let us crown her again, her who has so often been our Queen of May. 4. Relieve us, us who once relieved you. 5. We can manage the business ourselves. 25. Give five sentences in which two or more nouns or pronouns are in apposition with a noun or pronoun in the plural. 1. I saw your sisters, Mary and Susan. 2. The instruments of cruelty, the stake, the rack, and the lash, are no longer in use. 3. Two of us in the churchyard lie, my sister and my brother. 4. Sisters and brothers, little maid, how many may you be? 5. He wrote three sentences, one in English, another in German, and a third in Latin. 26. Give five sentences in which a noun in the plural is in apposition with two or more nouns, either singular or plural. 1. Romulus and Remus, the grandsons of Numitor. 
Two, we should cultivate prudence, justice, temperance, and fortitude, the cardinal virtues of man. Three, silence and darkness, solemn sisters, twins from ancient night. Four, oats, wheat, and barley, the cereals which flourish in England. Five, steamboats and railroads, inventions of the present century. 27. Give five sentences in which a noun or pronoun in the singular is in apposition with a noun or pronoun in the plural. 1. The whole company, man by man, went out to sea. 2. Grudge ye not one against another. 3. They speak vanity, every one with his neighbor. 4. They play with one another. 5. They mourned each his fate. 28. Explain the above constructions. The words one another, when taken separately, are considered singular, but, when taken together, are plural and can be properly used only after the plural. One is in apposition with ye, and another is in the objective case after against. Such terms are called reciprocals. 29. Must a noun or pronoun in apposition agree with the noun or pronoun it explains in number and gender? It does generally though it is not necessary that it agree in anything but case, as the animals, one by one, marched into the field. My dinner, oysters and crackers, was soon served. 30. When one or more nouns are in apposition with a noun in the possessive case, which noun takes the possessive sign? the one that immediately precedes the noun limited, as my friend, the singer's music. 31. Are a proper and common noun ever associated in apposition? It may occur as in the following. The river Thames, the poet Longfellow, the river Ohio, the Strait Gibraltar, the Desert Sahara, etc. 32. May a title to a proper name be in apposition to it? The title and name are generally taken together and called a complex noun, but sometimes, when the title follows the proper name, it is parsed in apposition, as... Thomas Jones, Esquire. George F. Stevens, Superintendent. 33. What besides nouns and pronouns can be used in apposition? Infinitives, phrases, and sentences. As, it is a delightful task to rear the tender thought. I have always had this living sentiment, independence now and forever. Political economists teach this principle, labor is capital. 34. Give five sentences in which a sentence is an apposition with a noun. 1. My motion that the subject should be laid on the table prevailed. 2. The exclamation, I am a Roman citizen, was of no avail. 3. An opinion prevails that men of wealth are always favored. 4. The theory that the planets are inhabited is believed by some. 5. Why should it be thought a thing incredible with you that God should raise the dead?
35. Give five sentences in which a noun is an apposition after the conjunction as. 1. Shakespeare, as a dramatic poet, has no equal. 2. Addison, as a writer of prose, is much admired. 3. He offered death or obedience as the only alternatives. 4. His office as judge must be responsible. 5. I shall treat him as a calumniator and a villain. 36. Give some of the ordinary errors under the above rule. 1. Incorrect. Such was the career of Burns, he who delighted a whole nation with his songs. Correct. Such was the career of Burns, him who delighted a whole nation with his songs. 2. Incorrect. Burns is still remembered as him who delighted, etc. Correct. Burns is still remembered as he who delighted, etc. 3. Incorrect. He prayed for his enemies, they whom he had reason to curse. Correct. He prayed for his enemies, them whom he had reason to curse. 4. Incorrect. My sister's, the teacher's, property. Correct. My sister, the teacher's, property. 37. How is it used in the following? It is wrong to hate our enemies. This pronoun has a special use here. Seemingly, the smoothness of the sentence demands the placing of the phrase subject beyond the verb. It is the grammatical subject, but the phrase is called the logical subject. That is, the subject according to the real meaning or logic of the sentence. 38. What term is often applied to it in such use? An expletive, because it is used to introduce the proposition and is so much more than the meaning demands. 39. Give the rule for the absolute case. Note, this case is often called the nominative absolute case. Nouns and pronouns used without grammatical dependence on other words are put in the absolute case, as, Your fathers, where are they? Miserable they. Oh, the morals of the day. 40. In how many... And what ways may a noun or pronoun be put in the absolute case? In four ways. One, by direct address. Two, by exclamation. Three, by pleonasm. Four, by use with a participle. 41. Illustrate each. Address. Soldier, rest, thy warfare over. Participle. This being so, justice takes place. Pleonasm. He that is holy, let him be holy still. By exclamation. O oh, the depth of the riches, both of the wisdom and knowledge of God. 42. What is meant by pleonasm? It means overfull and is applied to this peculiar construction because the noun is introduced for emphasis and the sentence therefore contains a redundancy of words for its grammatical necessities. 43. Explain the use of the noun I in the following. An I for an I. There may be a verb supplied here, give, but much of the vivacity of the sentence is sacrificed by so doing, 
and the ellipsis is so marked a character of the expression that some grammarians are, perhaps, justified in considering it a case of nominative absolute. 44. Give illustration of a pronoun of possessive form used independently. His being young did not excuse him. Note. These forms are now rarely used. The awkward form can be easily avoided, as his youth was no excuse, etc. 45. Give five sentences in which a noun is in the nominative by direct address. 1. Soldier rest by warfare over. 2. Friends, Romans, countrymen, lend me your ears. 3. My friend, disregard not my advice. 4. O oh, solitude, where are the charms that sages have seen in thy face? 5. Happy friend, may joy eternal crown thee. 46. Give five sentences in which some noun or pronoun is in the nominative absolute by exclamation. 1. What a poor, weak mortal. 2. My dear sisters, what have I done? 3. Religion, what a treasure divine. 4. Oh, happy we. 5. Does he take warning and reform? Alas, not he, incorrigible epicure. 47. Give five examples of a nominative absolute by inscription. 1. The Lebanon House. 2. Brooks's Arithmetic. 3. Lippincott's Pronouncing Gazetteer of the World. 4. The Moon and the Stars, a Fable. 5. Quinine, written as a label. 48. Give five sentences in which a noun or pronoun is in the nominative absolute by pleonasm. 1. The child, oh, where is he? 2. Thy rod and thy staff. They comfort me. 3. He that formed the eye, shall he not see? 4. The north and the south, thou hast created them. 5. Now Ben, he loved a pretty maid. Her name was Nellie Gray. 49. Give sentences each containing a noun or a pronoun in the nominative absolute with a participle. 1. The lessons being over, writing began. 2. He failing, who could hope for success? 3. Egypt being conquered, Alexander returned to Syria. 4. Wellington having returned to England, tranquility was restored to France. 50. Is a noun ever in the nominative absolute with a participle understood? It may be, as in the following. Alike in ignorance, his reason, implied, being, such, whether he thinks too little or too much. The war, implied, being, over, Francis disbanded his army. 51. Give the rule for the possessive case. A noun or pronoun modifying the meaning of another noun or pronoun denoting ownership, authorship, origin, or kind is in the possessive case. 52. What element in the sentence is the possessive? Usually an adjective element, because it limits a noun or something having a similar signification. 53. 
The possessive limits a noun in what case? It may be in any case, as the boy's story was believed. John's book lies by Harry's book. 54. Give illustrations showing that the noun modified is sometimes not expressed. 1. I dined at Mr. Walton's. 2. Paradise Lost is a work of Milton's. 3. The earth is the Lord's. 4. Man's life is cheap as beasts. 55. When several possessives limit a noun conjointly, which one takes the sign? The possessive sign is annexed to the last only, as David and Jonathan's friendship, Adam and Eve's mourning him. 56. When several possessives limit a noun separately, where is the sign placed? It is placed after each, as England's and Scotland's queen. 57. Where is the sign of the possessive placed in the case of nouns and apposition? When the limited noun is expressed, it is placed with the explanatory term, as Paul the Apostle's preaching. That is Mrs. Lucy, my friend's maid. 58. Where is the sign placed when the apposition is introduced by as? The principal term takes the sign, as Mr. Harris's duty as a teacher is to cultivate the intelligence of his pupils. Cowper's fame as a poet is equaled by his excellence as a man. 59. Where is the sign placed in such cases as above when the limited noun is understood? The construction is an awkward one and should be avoided, as I called at Mr. Hamilton's, the bookseller, should be I called at Mr. Hamilton, the bookseller's, store. 60. What is the sign of the possessive case of pronouns? They have no formal sign, but have a form of their own, as nominative he, possessive his, nominative she, possessive her, etc. 61. Is the limited noun in the same number as the possessive? Not necessarily so, as the teacher's pupils. The noun governing the possessive plural should not be plural unless the sense requires it, as we have sold our farm. 62. Give five sentences showing the errors in this particular. 1. Incorrect. We are, for our parts, well satisfied. Correct. We are, for our part, well satisfied. 2. Incorrect. Their healths may perhaps be much better. Correct. Their health may perhaps be much better. 3. Incorrect. The patient and pious willingly submit to their lots. Correct. The patient and pious willingly submit to their lot. 4. Incorrect. They all have talents sufficient. Correct. They all have talent sufficient. 5. Incorrect. I will respect them for your sakes. Correct. I will respect them for your sake. 63. Give illustrations of the improper use of pronouns in the possessive case. 1. He spoke of his going home. 2. Adopted by the Goths in their pronouncing the Greek. 3. I rewarded the child for his studying so diligently. 4. 
He boasted of his having deceived a friend. His, their, his, and his should be expunged. 64. Give sentences showing the erroneous use of the sign in the possessive case of pronouns. 1. That book is hers, H-E-R apostrophe S. 2. His book is larger than yours, Y-O-U-R apostrophe S. 3. The tree is known by its, I-T apostrophe S, fruit. 4. The privilege is not theirs, T-H-E-I-R-S apostrophe, any more than it is ours, O-U-R-S apostrophe. 5. That book is his, H-I-S apostrophe, but its, I-T apostrophe S, value is nothing compared with mine, M-I-N-E apostrophe. The apostrophe should be omitted in each pronoun. 65. Give sentences showing the wrong formation of possessives. 1. Moses's M-O-S-E-S apostrophe S, rod, was turned into a serpent. 2. Man's M-A-N-S apostrophe, chief good is an upright mind. 3. The ladies L-A-D-I-E apostrophe S, fan, was lost. 4. We regarded the cities, C-I-T-Y-S apostrophe, benefit, for righteousnesses, R-I-G-H-T-E-O-U-S-N-E-S-S apostrophe S, sake. 5. They are wolves, W-O-L-V-E-S apostrophe, in sheep's, S-H-E-E-P-S, clothing. The indicated words should be spelled Moses's, M-O-S-E-S apostrophe, man's, M-A-N apostrophe S, ladies, L-A-D-Y apostrophe S, cities, C-I-T-Y apostrophe S, righteousnesses, R-I-G-H-T-E-O-U-S-N-E-S-S apostrophe, wolves, W-O-L-V-E-S, sheeps, S-H-E-E-P-S apostrophe. 66. Give sentences showing the wrong use of the sign where more than one possessive occurs in a sentence. 1. Incorrect. Paul's the Apostles' epistles. Correct. Paul the Apostles' epistles. 2. Incorrect. That hat is John or James's. Correct. That hat is John's or James's. 3. Incorrect. He is stopping at McMullen's and Companies. Correct. He is stopping at McMullen and Companies. 4. Incorrect. Were Jacob and Esau's parents the same? Correct. Were Jacob's and Esau's parents the same? 5. Incorrect. Were Jacob's and Esau's parents there? Correct. Were Jacob and Esau's parents there? 6. Incorrect. Cain and Abel's occupation was the same. Correct. Cain's and Abel's occupation was the same. 7. Incorrect. I was at Mr. Gunther the tailor's. Correct. I was at Mr. Gunther's the tailor. 8. Incorrect. He was ashamed of his having acted so badly. Correct. He was ashamed of having acted so badly. 67. Give the possessive singular and plural of 1. 
court martial, two, horseman, three, mouse, four, commander in chief, five, fellow servant, one, courts marshals, two, horsemen's, three, mices, four, commanders in chiefs, five, fellow servants. 68. Give the rule for verbs used as objects of transitive verbs or their participles. The object of a transitive verb or its participles is in the objective case. 69. Name some other cases in which the objective case is used. 1. The object of a preposition, as, I sold it to him. 2. Subject of an infinitive, as, I wish him to be my friend. 3. An apposition with another noun in the objective case, as, they mistook him, a sturdy man, to be the general. Note. There are some nouns used in an adverbial sense to denote time, place, manner, measure, direction, etc., with usually a suppressed preposition, which some hold to be in the objective case without a governing word, as, we turn this way and that way, let us go home, he wore the garment cloak fashion, they walked a mile. 70. Where does the objective generally come in a sentence? After the governing word, except, one, in relative clauses, as, that is the story which he told, two, in interrogative sentences, as, whom do you wish, three, in emphatic expression, as, me he restored to my former position. Four, in poetry, as, myself I cannot save, etc. 71. Can a verb govern two objectives? It can, as, we gave him bread and money. 72. How are the emphasized words in the following sentences disposed of? I unlocked her, all my heart. I paid him the money. Her and him are objects of the preposition to understood and are called the indirect objects. Heart and money are the true objects of the verbs in their respective sentences. 73. Give five more sentences in which words have a similar construction. 1. He asked, implied of, me, a question. 2. It cost, implied to, me, much labor. 3. They offered, implied to, me, a seat. 4. He charged, implied, to, me, a dollar for the book. Five, I requested, implied, of, him, to leave. 74. What disposition should be made of words like the following? And God called the firmament heaven. Thy saints proclaim thee king. According to Holbrook, the infinitive to be is understood before the words heaven and king. This puts firmament and the in the objective case, subject of to be understood, and heaven and king in the objective in the abridged predicate. The true objects of the transitive verbs are the infinitive phrases firmament to be heaven and to be king. 75. 
Give five more sentences in which words have this same construction. One. And Simon, he surnamed, implied to be, Peter. Two. They elected him, implied to be, chairman. Three. She named her daughter, implied to be, Sella. Four. He made that log, implied to be, a boat. Five. They made him, implied to be, their leader. 76. Does a collective noun used as a subject nominative require a plural or singular verb? When the nominative is a collective noun, the verb must be singular or plural according as the noun denotes unity or plurality. As, the crowd was great. The jury were present. 77. When does a collective noun denote unity? When an affirmation is made of the whole as a body, it denotes unity, and the verb should be singular, as, the regiment was called out at a moment's notice. 78. When does a collective noun denote plurality? When something is affirmed of each individual as, the regiment were barefooted one whole day. 79. When the number of the noun is doubtful, what verb should be used? Always use a plural verb, as, the people have considered the issue. 80. When this or that precedes the noun, what number does it denote? Always the singular, as, This people has considered the issue. That regiment was barefooted one whole day. 81. Give five sentences, each of which contains a collective noun denoting unity. 1. His army was defeated. 2. A council was called. Three. The class was large. Four. The British Parliament is composed of king, lords, and commons. Five. Congress meets on the first Monday in December. Eighty-two. Give five sentences, each of which contains a collective noun denoting Plurality. 1. The committee were instructed. 2. The council were unanimous. 3. The flock were scattered. 4. Mankind were not united by the bonds of society in the beginning. 5. No company like to confess that they are ignorant. 83. Give the program for parsing nouns. 1. Name the part of speech. 2. Name its class and subclass. 3. Give its person, number, gender, and case. 4. Give its construction. 5. Name or recite the rule. 84. What is meant by construction, as used in parsing? It means the connection and arrangement of words in a sentence. 85. Parse a noun subject to a finite verb. Example teaches more than precept. Example is a noun, common, third, singular, neuter, nominative, subject of the verb teaches, rule. 86. How may the subject of a verb be easily told? By placing who or what before the verb 
and the word answering the question is the subject, as the horses pulled the plow. What pulled? Answer, horses. Horses is, therefore, the subject of the verb pulled. 87. Parse a noun in the predicate with a nominative. A coronation is a solemn inauguration of a monarch. Inauguration is a noun, common, verbal, third, singular, neuter, nominative, in the predicate after the intransitive verb is, referring to the same thing as its subject, coronation. 88. Parse a noun in apposition. We, the representatives of the people of these colonies, do make this declaration. Representatives is a noun, common, first, plural, masculine, nominative, in apposition with the pronoun we. 89. Parse the subject of an infinitive. King Agrippa permitted Paul to speak for himself. Paul is a noun, proper, third, singular, masculine, objective, subject of the infinitive, to speak. 90. Parse a noun, nominative absolute, by direct address. My dear children, let no root of bitterness spring up among you. Children is a noun, common, second, plural, absolute by direct address. 91. Parse a noun, nominative absolute by exclamation. Sweet blossom, precious to my heart. Blossom is a noun, common, third, singular, neuter, absolute by exclamation. 92. Parse a noun, nominative absolute by inscription. Harvey's grammar. Grammar is a noun, common, third, singular, neuter, absolute by inscription. 93. Parse a noun, nominative absolute, by pleonasm. Our fathers, where are they? Fathers is a noun, common, third, plural, masculine, absolute, by pleonasm. 94. Parse a noun, nominative absolute, with a participle. Danger once past, even the coward becomes brave. Danger is a noun, common, third, singular, neuter, absolute, with the participle past. 95. Parse a noun which limits another noun by denoting possession. A man's manners frequently influence his fortune. Man's is a noun, common, third, singular, masculine, possessive, limiting manners, rule. 96. Parse a noun which limits another noun denoting the same person. Herod married his brother Philip's wife. Phillips is a noun, proper, third, singular, masculine, possessive, in apposition with brother. Brother is a noun, common, third, singular, masculine, possessive, limiting, wife, rule. 97. Parse the emphasized words in the following sentence. Peter, John, and Andrew's occupation was that of fishermen.
Heater is a noun. Proper, third, singular, masculine, possessive, limiting, occupation. Andrews is parsed the same way. 98. Parse the emphasized words in the following sentence. These psalms are David's, the sweet singer of Israel. David's is a noun, proper, third, singular, masculine, possessive, limiting psalms, understood. Singer is a noun, common, third, singular, masculine, possessive, in apposition with David. Rule. 99. How parse the emphasized words in the following sentence? The Emperor of Russia's proclamation had just reached his army. Emperor is a noun, proper, third, singular, masculine, possessive, limiting proclamation. Russia's is a noun, proper, third, singular, neuter, objective, object of the preposition of, rule. 100. Parse a noun, object of a transitive verb. Write injuries in dust, but kindnesses in marble. Kindnesses is a noun, common, abstract, third, plural, neuter, objective, object of the transitive verb write, understood, rule. 101. Parse a noun, object of a preposition. Zeal without knowledge is like fire without light. Knowledge is a noun, common, third, singular, neuter, objective, object of the preposition without, rule. 102. Parse a noun in the objective case in the predicate. The laws of the country allow no place to be a sanctuary for crimes. Sanctuary is a noun, common, third, singular, neuter, objective, in the abridged predicate after the intransitive verb to be, referring to the same thing as its subject, place. Place being in the objective case, subject of, to be, rule. 103. Parse a noun in the objective in apposition. Mr. Cooper, the novelist, visited Lafayette, the patriot. Patriot is a noun, common, third, singular, masculine, objective, in apposition with Lafayette, rule. 104. Parse a collective noun. The public are often deceived by false appearances. Public is a noun, common, third, plural, common, nominative, subject of are deceived, rule. 105. Parse the emphasized words in the following sentence. Nature made Milton a genius. Milton is a noun, proper, third, singular, masculine, objective after made, and subject to the infinitive to be, understood. Genius is a noun, common, third, singular, masculine, objective, in the predicate after the intransitive verb to be, understood, referring to the same person as its subject, Milton. 106. What is meant by government in grammar? The influence of one word 
over another in the construction of a sentence. End of section 16.